Hello and welcome to Mr. Taylor's Photoshop Extravaganza. What's up, YouTube? Mr. Taylor, make sure you hit that little like button and subscribe <laughs> at the bottom to Coach D's YouTube channel. Uh, all right, let's go to Print Shop today. Photoshop. Photoshop, same thing. We're going to click File and then we're going to click New. You don't have to do this, actually. You can just close that. Well, I am going to do this and say New. All right, but I'm going to cancel it for Mr. Taylor's sake. Yeah. All right, so we're going to come over here. We're going to take a picture of Dak Prescott. Mm -hmm. Are we going to drag it? Uh, down, just download it. All right, we're going to right click it and click this save image as. That's an actual picture. It's not an illustration, it has a background. Dak. Mm -hmm. All right, so we saved this picture. Now you can just drag it. Now I'm going to open up Photoshop and then I'm going to drag this picture. Into back up, up there into Photoshop. Yeah, you know, it's the little plus sign. All right. So today's uh, learning about is the magic wand tool, quick selection tool. There you go. <laughs> and if you right click on it, you will be able to look at both options, and you can also do those for these other sides. But today's idea is to click on the quick selection tool, and the idea is that we are going to take this person out of the background and then be able to manipulate it later. Now, whenever you choose a tool in Photoshop, your options are always going to be up here at the top. So you'll notice on our options, we have a plus, a plus, and a minus, and a minus. All right. So we are going to just zoom in using Control Plus, mm -hmm. Mr. Dak Prescott, and we're going to start at his head. And so notice that the little circle thing will start clicking. Mm -hmm. The more that you click on this person, the more it will select who it is. But if you get to a point where you have too much, like right here, we got to click back over here on this negative button, and then we got to highlight that area and then kind of take it out. What I would also, if you go up here, uh, remember we said options are at the top. You see that 30 with the little down triangle? There's your diameter, so you can make your brush as small or as large as you need it if you just slide that little diameter. We're going to slide, slide it for the sake of doing it. Yeah, slide it down, and you can see the brush is going to be much, much smaller because we want to try to get that little chin strap piece, right? All right. Well, we're going to have to go real small then, Mr. Taylor. Well, we're uh, experts at this. Yeah, there we go. All right. You're on the minus. I am on the minus. Let's go back to the plus. We'll keep Dak's face in there. And doot, 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 Look at that. Doot, doot, doot. And then don't forget that stripe. Oh, somehow the stripe was in there. And we are going to pause. So let's go back. We lost all of our stuff because we had a phone call. <laughs> all right. But we're going. Oh, there it is. I guess we didn't. Yeah. Now let's make our brush a little bit bigger. Doot, 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 doot. All right. There we go. Get his arm. I'm just I'm just clicking the mouse over and over and over again. And you'll notice what while, while Coach D's right here. If you look at this tab up here at the top, you can have multiple tabs where you're gonna have uh, multiple images open. Notice also we're at 200%. If Coach D were to keep uh, zooming in, you see that number went up to 300. Scroll up to his jersey number. There we go. And let's see how close we can go in. We're at 700%, 1600%, 3200%. You can get pretty zoomed in there down to the single pixel, um, like as close as you want to get on this. All right. Do, 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 do. Nice job. I feel like I'm doing an amazing job, Mr. Taylor. How do you feel about those Adidas cleats? I feel like they will secure the Cowboys postseason victory. Nice. All right. Now let's get rid of these things. There. And just so our students can have attitude of gratitude, those cleats were probably made by kids their age in a factory somewhere. And they got paid lots of money to do so, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we want to get rid of this little arm piece. Go to the negative. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. Nice. All right. Beep, beep. All right, 
All right. Now what, Mr. Taylor? Now we're going to look over here on the right at your layers, okay? Right. And what we want to do is take this selection and put it onto its own layer. So if you go to the layer menu up at the top, we're going to learn our first magic keyboard shortcut. All right. We're going to go to the very first choice is new. And the very uh, second one from the bottom is layer via copy. And if you see that keyboard shortcut, it's control J. What is it, Mr. Taylor? Control J. J. All right. Mm -hmm. And, we and once you it. do that, it looks like nothing happened to your picture. But look over on the right at the layers, and you'll see each layer has an eyeball. Coach D is going to poke the background in the eyeball so we can't see it. And now look at that. you got Dak Prescott all by himself. Right. Uh, and you have the checkerboard background. That means it's completely blank. So now you can take this picture and do all kinds of cool stuff with it. So we're going to go ahead and save this as a PNG. File. And that stands Save for S. Mm -hmm, Portable Network Graphic. I'm going to click down here, mm -hmm. my format menu, and I go to PNG file, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to press save. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're going to do one more cool thing. Yeah, just click OK. Uh, we're going to go back to your background layer and make sure you select that actual layer. There you go. And now we're going to go to our adjustments. And there are, you know, some really cool adjustment layers here. There's brightness, contrast, levels, exposure, all kinds of cool stuff you might want to use on a picture. And we're going to find the one that says black and white. There you go. And that has turned our background black and white. Now, if you, you can adjust all these little sliders. Grab that green one and watch what happens because there's a lot of green in this picture because of the turf. So you can get real, uh, you can like customize your black and white gradient, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's go back to your layers tab. And you let's look at the order of our layers. Our cutouts on top. And then under that is the black and white layer. And then under that is our background. So the black and white has just affected that background layer. And that left our top layer in color. So that's how you take one part of your picture, put it in color, turn the rest of it black and white. And now this you can save as a JPEG. That is kind of the standard uh, picture format that you would share uh, on your phone or on the internets or whatever. Okay. Boop. And there you go. And that is today's lesson. Today's lesson. Now click the like and subscribe button right now. Ha 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 ha. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notified. <laughs>